a 58 year old woman comes to our department with her daughter. That day we had our FNSC so I went to attend the patient with my juniors and on examination we found that yes the patient had a breast mass measuring 2 into 1.5 cm in her right breast. The left breast was normal. I asked her for some reports that she had done. So she showed me her USG and mammography reports. In the USG report, the findings corroborated with measurement almost similar. And in the mammography report, we found that there was mild calcification, which was supposedly considered benign. So we went ahead and did the FNC of the patient. After processing of the slides, uh, I finally got it to my table to do the screening. Usually uh, we do the screening and then the seniors do the screening and then it gets reported by our faculties. So on screening the image was like this which showed that there were cohesive clusters of epithelial cells almost arranged in an antler horn pattern which is suggestive of fibroadenoma. So it was pretty much a clear cut case which was evident from the psychological pictures. I wrote down in the FNC copy as fibroadenoma and then I submitted the slides for reporting to the faculty. After that, days passed by and one day, almost about seven to eight days later, I was sitting in the grossing. What happens usually during grossing is that there are three people. One who does the grossing, one who arranges the cassettes and everything, and the other one who writes down the findings of the grossing and what sections we are giving in what cassettes like that. So I was the one who was doing that work that day. That day we had grossing in our unit and the one who writes down the details of grossing is usually the person who has the form of the patient also with the patient details. So just when I was looking at the form, the name somehow striked me and I felt that I saw this name somewhere previously. After two minutes of deep thinking, I recollected that yes, this was the patient that I did FNSC myself, which was seven to eight days earlier. The same patient had come to our unit only for FNSC, which was the same 58 year old female patient with a breast mass. The patient underwent an excisional biopsy, which usually is the treatment for fibroadenoma. And then the specimen was sent to our department, which is how we got it. So we submitted the sections and after processing of again, after five days almost, I received the slides and I brought it to my table again for screening. As a second year, when I placed the slide under the microscope, I could see this kind of image. This is a picture from the internet, but this is how fibroadenoma looks and a similar kind of picture was there that day. So after examination of all the slides, I finally came to a diagnosis that yes, it is a fibroadenoma. Even during cytology, the findings corroborated and now also it is a fibroadenoma. It's a clear cut case of fibroadenoma. So I again wrote down in the Rossing copy. After that, I submitted the slides and to the faculty and also to the seniors for screening. The very next day, I got a call from one of our surgery PGTs. He was my friend and he told me that uh, this is the name of the patient and uh, she was supposedly familiar to uh, him and uh, he requested me to get the reports done earlier for this patient. This was the same patient of 58 years old with a breast mass. So on request of the surgery PGT, I went up to our faculty ma'am in my unit and I told her to dispatch the report of this particular case a little earlier because she's familiar to him. She told me that fine, give me 20-30 minutes time and then I will call you and you will write the report and dispatch it. After 20 minutes, I got a call from ma'am and when I went there, she asked me who has done the screening because I was the only one who have done the screening and the slides could not reach up to the seniors. Before that only I was getting it reported by the faculty because the surgery PGT had requested me. So I said that ma'am, I have done it and um, she looked at me with a frown and then she said, okay write the report and also see the slides once again. Then I quickly saw the report what, what ma'am had actually diagnosed and I was surprised to see that it was not only a case of fibroadenoma but along with fibroadenoma there was a small foci of ductal carcinoma in situ which means it is not only a case of a plain benign fibroadenoma, it also has got an associated component of carcinoma. And if this patient does not get proper treatment, then maybe in future sometimes DCIS has a tendency to even get converted into invasive carcinoma, which is dangerous. I was literally blown away that a small foci of DCIS was there, which I missed. 
I quickly saw it under the microscope and then I could see ma'am had marked that area which had the foci of DCIS. It was a very small foci and I could not click picture of that image because I was very sad and I was feeling very down. But this is the image that I collected from the internet in which you can see that there is a foci of DCIS in fibrillar pneumonia and it looks somehow like this. After seeing the slides, I could see the foci and it was such a small foci but still the main point is that I missed it. Somehow or the other, I missed it. So I called the surgery PGT and I told him that the reports are not that good as it should have been and further management options has to be considered. Probably after that, the patient again underwent a breast conservation surgery. Obviously, the treatment part is not in my scope, but that day, the entire day, I felt very sad. I felt very low and after that, I sat down for five minutes and I contemplated I realized that the responsibility that I have taken up for myself is huge. Sometimes we don't understand the importance of the work that we are doing. It's a very sensitive job. Dangerous consequences that could have occurred to this patient if the foci was not identified. That feeling and that sense still gives me goosebumps because I really felt that that day I failed as a pathologist. That day I failed as a doctor. If I would not have remembered the name of the patient, if the surgery PGT would not have called me to get the reports done earlier, then I would never have realized that I was missing out on something so important in a very benign, normal and basic diagnosis. I learned my lesson that day. Yes, I fell in love with my branch once again. After that, I became a lot more sensible, a lot more sensitive. I scrutinize every part of the slide and I also try to follow up certain cases till the end and also make it a point that whenever I do screening, I again check it from the final diagnosis to see whether I am always right or not. A lot of times we make mistakes, but this kind of mistake in which I was confident, but I was actually making a grave mistake really shook me that day and I realized that the job I have taken up, the responsibility that I have taken up for myself is huge and I should be and I should better be more careful from next time. Fibroidoma itself is a benign condition and they are not much side effects but rarely it gets associated with DCIS in a very small foci which is usually missed but that can actually cause grave problem because later in life the patient may have serious consequences and it is the job of the pathologist to diagnose and identify these minute details which can be a life-changing decision for the patient. I hope that in future I don't make this kind of mistakes because this branch is very sensitive. Obviously it comes with practice, I'm just in my second year and yes we do make mistakes and that's how we learn and that's why we are faculties who are always there to check onto the final diagnosis before leaving the patient but I myself felt bad and sad that day that I missed out on something I was confident about but it was a learning lesson for me and I will never look at pathology in the way I looked before. That day had changed my perspective. I do thank the patient and the surgery PGT and my faculty ma'am for making me realize the importance of this branch once again and making me fall in love with the subject once again. So I hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you like my content, then please consider subscribing. I would request you to leave a comment down below. I will meet you very soon in some other video. Please then take care and thank you for watching.